episode of Horror Movie Madness, where every Thursday I review and count down my favorite horror movies. This week, we're out of the studio and on location at the Ross Bay Cemetery on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. We're here at this location today is because I'm going to be reviewing Stephen King's Pet Cemetery. So I thought this would be the perfect location to start. This place is so cool and the beautiful part of it is it's right beside the ocean. Like all things horror, movies, and activism, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give the video a like and comment down below. This cemetery is one of the favorite places that I love to go when I go on a hike because it's so close to the ocean and because there are several ghost stories associated with this that I'm going to tell you about in a bit. The Ghosts of the Ross Bay Cemetery. Number one, David Fee who was killed on the steps of St. Andrew's Cathedral on Christmas Eve of 1890. Number two, Isabella Ross, who was the first woman to own land in British Columbia, and that land is on the cemetery grounds. Number three, there is an unknown couple dressed in fancy Victorian clothing that float through the cemetery. If you or someone you know has a story about any of these ghosts, then please comment below. And now for our movie review. Pet Cemetery from 1989. Pet Cemetery from 1989 is a supernatural horror film adapted from Stephen King's 1983 novel of the same name. Directed by Mary Lambert, starring Dale Midkiff, Dennis Crosby, Blaze Birdhall, Fred Gwynn, and Miko Hughes as Gage Creed. The title is a sensational spelling of Pet Cemetery. It had a budget of $11.5 million and grossed $57.5 million at the box office. It tells the story of the Creed family, Lewis, Rachel, and their kids Ellie and Gage, who move from Chicago to a rural house in the countryside after Lewis accepts a job as a physician with the University of Maine. They befriend their new neighbor, Judd Crandall, who takes them to a mysterious pet cemetery in the woods behind their house. I loved this film. I saw it when it came out and have watched it a thousand times since. It's classic, creepy, disturbing Stephen King, the master of horror. It has that quirky, dark cult quality to it. The cat, church, super cool. The daughter, Ellie, is perfection. She's loving and sassy and brings a bit of humor to all the dark scenes. She's portrayed exactly how kids were back in the 80s. Fred Gwynn is the perfect horror storyteller. He's Erman Munster. He's iconic. The parents are awkward, but I think that only adds to the creepiness of the movie. The little boy, Gage, is adorable and horrifying all at the same time. Two fun facts about the movie. Stephen King has a cameo in the film. He plays a minister at Gage's funeral. And Rachel's sister Zelda, who had spinal meningitis, was actually played by a man named Andrew Hubatsik. That made it way creepier. I give Pet Cemetery five shark bites. Pet Cemetery from 2019. Pet Cemetery from 2019, directed by Kevin Kolsch and Dennis Widmeyer, is the second adaptation of the 1983 novel of the same name. It stars Jason Clark, Amy Siemitz, and John Lithgow. Dr. Lewis Creed and his family lose their pet cat in an accident and bury it in a nearby cemetery. However, this unleashes a darkness that soon haunts the Creeds in terrifying ways. Ellie, played by Jete Lawrence, is excellent in this role. It's a complex character and she does it very well. 
Zelda, played by Alyssa Brooke Levine, was good, but not in my opinion as good as the original. Church, played by Leo the Cat, unfortunately passed away a few weeks after the film's release. He was a Maine Coon cat, but there were four other cats in the film with him. Leo and a cat named Tonic were in the main shots. Judd, played by John Lithgow, was spectacular in this role, but he's always spectacular in any films that he does. This film was good, but in my opinion, modern good, and I still liked the original from 1989 much better. There are some changes to the storyline, like there's a pet funeral march with masked children that's been added, uh, Zelda's death is different, and Ellie dies and comes back to life instead of Gage, among other things. It was entertaining, and if you're a fan of the first one, or not, you should probably check it out. I give Pet Cemetery 2019 four shark bites. Pet Cemetery 2 from 1992. Pet Cemetery 2 from 1992 is directed by Mary Lambert and starring Edward Furlong, Clancy Brown, and Anthony Edwards. It's the sequel to the film Pet Cemetery, based on the book by Stephen King. Jeff and Chase Matthews, Jeff's father, travel to his mother's hometown to grieve for her death and discover a Native American cemetery which resurrects dead corpses. This movie was super hokey. <laughs> it ties the first movie into it, and it kind of carries on from that, but I think it was far more funny than it was scary or dark like the original film. I give Pet Cemetery 2 three shark bites. We're going to head down to the beach for a little bit to show you that, and that's behind me there. Um, the Olympia Mountains are across the water. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I certainly did. And if you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again next week. Bye.